Welcome to the Future in 15 show. I'm host Caleb Parker. If you're tuning in for the first time, the Future in 15 show is 15 minute interviews with entrepreneurs and business leaders who are innovating within their company and creating the future of their industry. CTS Systems, the world's preeminent company in global payment and reconciliation serving the global travel industry. Innovative cutting-edge software and knowledgeable global customer service provides facilitation of payment data and reconciliation solutions. In 2016, we handled over $7 billion U.S. billion in hotel revenues, processing more than 45 million transactions. We have been in business for 25 years and are based in Atlanta, Georgia, with a rapidly growing international presence. We make it easy for you to manage your business. You can increase profits and maximize results. Contact us today. Welcome to the Future in 15 show. I am host Caleb Parker, and today we are at Us & Co. co-working space near in between Monument Station and Tower Hill. Tower Hill is behind us. We have the Thames and the Shard just out in front of us. Today we're talking about the future of MICE commissions, that is commission in the meetings and events world. And joining me today is Rochelle Valadares from Desica, a tech startup that's making the commission world easier for venues and agents. Rochelle, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Kayla. Tell me about Desica. What do you guys do? We are the first company to automate commission collection within the MICE sector. We are there to provide reporting and chasing of commission. When you say automating commission collection, this is for agents, of course, right? It can be for agents or it can be the other way around. But for agents um, or even corporates or associations who collect commission, it is very simple. All they do is they upload their invoice or their contract into our system, answer a handful of questions about contact information for, for the property that they're using, and click a button, send it off, and we do the rest. We'll create a commission invoice, we'll chase the commit, we send that to the property, we'll chase it, and then at the end, we pay it straight into their bank account. What's, it, what's innovative about this? I mean, there's CRM systems out there, there's accounting systems, um, I think VenueDirectory.com has a commission collection process. So what's, what's new? What's new to the industry here? What's new about it is, is really we're the only ones within the MICE space who can take not just a meeting of 10 people around a board table, but we can take a citywide event and we can cobble everything together and collect commission for the full picture, so for pre-booked F&B, for sleeping rooms up to inclu and including a DMC, a florist, transportation, basically anybody who's offered commission, we can take it in that one upload and chase it all and send it back and we can provide reporting on it. I just want to kind of go back. So with the agencies that we're talking about, are we talking independent agents, small companies? Are we talking about big TMCs, big agencies? Both. Who are your clients? All of the above. We started with the idea that this was going to be small agents. And we um, sort of saw this as being small agents keeping their own brand identity. Um, but we would collect commission on their behalf. But then we got the surprise. We started to talk to people who had larger agencies who want our reporting services far more than the commission collection. Although, to be fair, there are others that we're talking to at the moment who are equally as interested in having us do the commission chasing because they've got five or six IATA numbers. So for, for the agencies, big and small, uh, what, what's the benefit? Why, why not do it themselves? The benefit is, is it's time saving. It's cost saving, and truthfully, it saves so much frustration because there is nothing more upsetting or annoying than chasing commission. Okay, so when you were describing what Desica does, you talked about how you support agencies, and you touched, you started to say how you support venues, but you didn't finish that. Can you talk about that? Sure. We work both in both directions. We have Desica and we have Desica Business Services, which when we first came up with the idea, we called Desica Backwards. And I actually think Desica Backwards is great because it explains it absolutely and completely in one go. It's basically Desica for people who are paying the commission out as opposed to people who are chasing after the commission. 
works the same way. They'll do the upload. They'll send us their client's information, or whoever it is who signed, the agent, the client, whatever. We do the commission invoicing for them, so it's third-party invoicing, which makes it very transparent. Um, we provide them with an in-depth um, reporting suite, so that at the touch of a button, once again, simple date range, and they get every report they could possibly want. We integrate with other financial software, so that's not an issue either. And it means that they only need to pay once. We calculate, depending on how many meeting rooms they have um, and how much business they put through on the MICE side, how often we agree payment dates. So it can be anywhere from once a week for somebody who's got a huge convention hotel to somewhere like where we're sitting where they have one room where they maybe let it out once or twice a week where they would probably pay us once a month. And then we distribute that back out to whoever the commission is owed. They have one payment processing to, to one payment roll and one check to write, basically. Yes, exactly. And then you guys distribute from Then there. we take it and split it up and send it out. Okay. So I can see how it can be appealing to save time and money resources on you know writing one check, getting it distributed. Um, but there's something else to it, right? There's, there's a data element to... There's a huge data element to it. It provides the client, the intermediary and the property with data which gives you transparency. So that, so that transparency then gives insight into to your clients, right? Yeah. Um, so that's a nice segue, I think, because there's a debate right now, and I want to get your view on There's a debate right now on commissions versus booking fees in, in, in our sector. And I think there's a fear that this transparency is going to sort of enable agencies to well, I'll be, I'll be blunt, to steer business in the direction of suppliers who are favorable. Um, what's your view on that? If you mean by favorable, they offer you 15% instead of 10%, which is pretty much the norm, although sometimes it's a bit more, a bit less. Um, I think it's a very short-sighted way of working. I think if you've got two venues for your client that are on an even footing, that they are both exactly what the client wants, then you put them both forward and you take whatever the client says. But if one of them is clearly very good and the other one really doesn't quite work, but the one that doesn't quite work is offering to pay you 5% more, it's very, very short-sighted to take the 5% more, which could be 500 pounds, say, and lose the client, who could be worth thousands over the next few years, mm rather than say, all right, I'll write off the 500 in my head because it's the only place you're really writing it off now and put forward the correct um, venue for them and say, this is going to really work well for you. This is, is what you probably want, to, who you want to work with. And then they'll come back to you because your integrity is such that you're, you're giving them the truth. So then how does Desica play a role in this, in, in, in making things easier for people? It's all about chasing, it's all about time, and it's all about being able to compare and contrast who you do want a business to. Because the question really isn't about who's going to pay you more. The question is who's going to pay you on time. Hmm. And flipping it back then to that initial question, is a venue not going to say, well, I'm not really happy that they can see how fast I pay because they're going to shift business to someone else? Well, that should make the, the venue pay. A few weeks ago, you moderated a panel at the meeting show on this very topic, commissions. Yeah. How do you, based, based on that conversation, your own personal views, how do you see the future of commission in, in MICE? I think there always will be commission. I think that um, the transparency helps. I think also that the, the importance with commission and I had this conversation earlier this evening, is, is that, yes, you can talk about fee-based all you like, and that will work with certain organizations, but as soon as you start talking the charitable sector, associations, politics, any number of things, can you imagine the scandal if a major charity was paying a fee for their venue funding? Hmm. It would be incredible. 
Um, and so I think commission is here to stay. So Rochelle, do you believe that we need standardization in the commission world? And if, if you do, or if you don't, um, how does Desica play a role there? Well, I think it would be nice if we had standardization. We were discussing before about ink and X VAT. That's a, to me, that's a, not a very big deal because it's a, simply including the terms in one way or the other, so you're not talking large costs. It's, it's like when you go into a hotel and you say, well, what if you changed the bedspread as opposed to why don't you gut all of your bathrooms? There's a difference between soft furnishings and gutting things, and there's a difference between saying ink or X mm. and actually changing an entire system. It's very simple change. Um, so minor standardization. Minor standardization, but it would also be nice, and I think this is going to require organizations like the HBAA and other global organizations as well to figure out a way to have what commission is paid on standardized and globalized. On as in what? As in, in Europe, we're very lucky. If you work in Europe, you get paid on bedrooms, you get paid on a, a DDR, on the day delegate rate, on meeting space if there's separate charge for meeting space, and on pre-booked F&B, um, and quite often on a number of other things. If you work in Asia, it's meeting rooms only, it's, sorry, it's bedrooms only. In the States, it's also bedrooms only. So it really depends on where you are, what you're being paid for. But the amount of work you're doing for your client is exactly the same. So is Desica looking to sort of play a role in standardization? I think that you'll find that we'll quietly, behind the scenes, be pushing the issue because it's easy to see through our reporting when things aren't standardized, particularly on what commission is paid on and not on, and take it from there that way. I have one burning question that I have to ask. Now, you've been in the UK for how long? 26 years. Okay, and you still have an American accent. How is that possible? Caleb, in 26 years, you'll still have your accent too. <laughs> so Rochelle, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, www.desica.com. And you're on Twitter? We're on Twitter at Desica Global. Um, and we'll get back to you as fast as we can. Okay. Thank you for coming on the show. Pleasure.